Hey guys! Welcome back to Joshua's Japan channel and today I have another special guest. Please welcome Tomo! Hello. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. <laughs> so you like to dip. Could you please introduce yourself a little? Yes. Well, hello, hello. I am Tomo. To give it a little introduction, I was born in Japan, but I actually lived uh, in the US for a few years. Indiana, of mm. all places, for oh, like six ooh, years. Sexy. And then, sexy, very sexy. <laughs> and then came back to Japan, and I've lived in Japan for the I guess like the majority of my life, but mm -hmm. I've always gone to an international school, hence why obviously we met there. Um, but upon graduating high school here, I went to Canada for university, mm -hmm. came back to work uh, in corporate, specifically HR in Japan. Uh, Love the experience, I'll get into that <laughs> later. <laughs> Afterwards, I went to Hong Kong on a working holiday visa, ended up working at a few startups, also worked in pastry for a bit. And then I came back last year to Tokyo and was actually in finance, namely venture capital for a few months. And then, yeah, now I'm back. Uh, actually, also had a bit of a stint in Chile uh, for a month and yeah. came back a week ago. And so in the process of figuring things out, but I think I'm leaving. <laughs> <In three weeks>. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. So, so that's my little spiel. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's break it down. Yeah. Yeah. So first, uh -huh. you were born in America. Oh, no, I was born in Japan, but Sorry. I moved to the U.S. when I was like a year old, 10 months or something. Okay, yeah. and how long were you there for? I was there for five years, I believe, okay. and then I came back to Japan for four and then went back for another year to okay. the U.S. Okay. And then went to, to just, I moved around uh, Japan because I was in Yokohama, in Tokyo and whatnot. Okay. Kanji. There you've been going to international school. So, 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 so. There you came to the school I was going to. Yeah, yeah. Then I was going to. So, so, so. It's my town. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you've been going to international school your whole uh, life, uh, right? Uh, but uh, you, you're kind, you were raised by Japanese parents. The Japanese show? parents, and I mean, because my, I guess my first few years of my life, we were in the U.S., and so my first language was actually English, and so mm. I think they wanted to sustain that. Mm, mm, and mm. obviously, being able to speak English in Japan is still very much makes you an anomaly in a mm, sense. Mm, mm, so mm. I think they wanted um, to send me into international school to provide that kind of opportunity for me. You talk with your parents in in Japanese. And right? Japanese, 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 Japanese. So, 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 so. Hey, demo, like. They, how how do they view you? How do they see you as an individual? To be honest, like I do, I have my Japanese side with me in terms mm -hmm. of like the obvious language ability mm -hmm. because my juku to kumon toga yatte, the chanto soko wa obinatte da. So 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 so. She, how do they? That's a that's a very deep question. For sure, like we've grown up in different ages, of course, mm -hmm. and so what was normal to my parents in their age is not really in our age because mm -hmm. I think we have more agency to forge our own path because mm -hmm. there's just so many different ways you can go mm -hmm. with social media and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but obviously they've not lived through that. So me in my past chaotic few years, <laughs> I think it's been a bit of a struggle with uh, my parents uh. because um, it's a I have to communicate to them like why I'm doing the things that I'm doing because right, right. it really doesn't make sense to them for me to, you know, essentially fall off the path that was laid out for me. Mm. Yeah, for anybody that doesn't know anything about international schools, mm -mm -mm. could you please explain a little bit about okay. international schools in Japan? I think in my understanding, I would say it's a very Western style school mm -hmm. that's basically copy pasted in whether that be Japan or any other Asian country. Mm -hmm. And so the language of teaching is obviously in English mm -hmm. and it's sort of similar to the typical American public school in mm -hmm. that like sports are seasonal so you get to play a multitude of sports throughout the years and it's also sort of a closed community because mm -hmm. you only really get to know people from other international schools and yeah. you don't yeah. really I would say interact with the locals like what was your image of like the, the local people the people that were going to local schools like because we had a uh, uh, uh. shogakko uh. right next to our school right? Right, right, right how did you view them like because you're you're Japanese, mm -hmm. but you didn't go to Japanese school. Yeah. So how did you, like, do you feel like you were there? I think there were no feelings of like even positivity or negativity right, because right, right. we were in such a bubble. <laughs> yeah. Like I feel like being an in international school, yeah, yeah, it yeah. really isolates um, you from the rest of the community, like the mm -hmm. rest of society, essentially. Or the country, even. Yeah, the like, country. The you get your academia, you get your sports extracurriculars 
all within that system. Yeah, so there's yeah, really yeah. no reason for you to go elsewhere, mm -hmm. whether unless it's like jukutoka. I didn't have any, I guess, feelings mm -hmm. because we were just so closed off. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Then you went to juku and stuff, right? So, so, so. Then so, that was your only like, set then. So, but juku is like kobetsu, so it's just like one on one with a teacher. Ah, so, 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 um, and I was just getting like lessons every single day. Hi, hi, so. Hi. so what do you think are the pros and cons of international mm -hmm. schools? So I would say you do get a lot of diversity in terms of nationality mm -hmm. and I would say honestly the main reason why parents send their kids to international schools is because it opens up a lot of doors mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Like you get your schooling in English, you then are able to go to university abroad which then heightens your chances of getting like a good job if you come back to Japan as well. international school Cons wise though, I think like um, this is my opinion, but yes, you get a lot of diversity in terms of the nationality, but mm -hmm. not so much in terms of, I would say, for example, the financial background, because mm. to be able to go to an international school means that, myself included, like you're coming from a place of privilege, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, so yeah. that definitely narrows the type of people um, that you're constantly with. Right, Do you right, know right. what Right, mm. right, right. So then, it's not right. That's good. That's why it makes you live in a very so, 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 small so, 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 bubble because so, so, so. you're kind of surrounded by rich people mm -hmm, basically mm -hmm, all the time, and then the perception is a little bit that you're going to be affected. So, 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 <laughs> yeah, and when you're growing up, you don't really take note of that, no yeah, yeah, notice yeah. of those things, but afterwards you're like, oh, wait, that was <laughs> actually such an abnormal environment for me yeah, to be yeah, in. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when did you realize that? I think a lot of things changed for me um, when I went to university because, mm -hmm. again, like we went to such, I mean, I went to such a small high school. My class, uh, there's, I believe, like 50 people in the entire grade. Yeah, and yeah. to go from that to go to university where there was 14,000 people in my faculty, <laughs> faculty ducke, like not even the entire university, yeah, like there was 14,000 students uh, uh, uh. in the faculty of arts, so it was a huge shift there. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm meeting people from so many backgrounds, yeah. not just in terms of nationality, but in terms of like age as well, because for example, I think there's like a 60-year-old in one of my poli-sci classes mm -hmm. because he wanted to just get more knowledge and uh, get that degree that mm. he wasn't able to before. Do you know then like a hontani samazama mo kayona background no hito tachi to kakawareta tte no ga daigaku ga hajimete datta to mo. Just know what was the biggest culture shock moving to Canada from Japan? What I felt when I was in Canada was that everyone's opinions matters mm -hmm. um, and people were more emboldened to speak up and mm -hmm. speak for themselves or speak for other people um, and because I was in student government I was like really involved in student mm -hmm. government mm -hmm. during my time um, in college I was definitely in a position to speak up and do public speaking and mm -hmm. whatnot then the ghetto I think even though the factors of like age and gender obviously still play a factor mm -hmm. everywhere else like mm -hmm. not just Japan I think it was less so in Canada. Did, them, did it take you time to get used to that environment? Or were For you sure. Like, oh, okay. I was born in the same way. 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 I was born I. I. Me. I am. I am. Therefore. <laughs> environment, you know, it was you know, quite a shift, right? I think that's the good, good so side of Canada. Mm -hmm. But are there, any, are there any bad sides of Canada? Bad side. There's you know, a strong streak of individualism. Mm. And so people are less willing to go along with the unspoken rules of society. Yeah, and I yeah. know that that largely is a problem as mm. well in Japan, but at the same mm. time, there are good sides to it. And mm -hmm. that learning to be able to actually collaborate with other individuals <laughs> is an important skill to have yeah. in life. Yeah. So, so big time. Yeah. So, big time. Yeah. So, big time. So, big time. So, big time. So, big time. So, Moving to Europe, mm -hmm. I, I felt like people weren't listening to me mm -hmm. as much as 
people in Japan. Like, okay, okay. I, I feel like Japanese people are more like active listeners uh, than okay. Europeans, I think. Did right. you notice that? Like, Aizuchi is such a big thing. Oh, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. that's it because we are used to the just notion of Aizuchi. Aizuchi means like, um, I guess, doing all those Ah, mm, mm, not mm, eh. like all those sounds while you're yeah, having yeah, conversing yeah. with someone and in japan that means that like you're listening you're yeah. actively listening yeah, you're yeah, understanding yeah. what the other person is saying but people don't do that outside yeah, of japan yeah, 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 and yeah. so um this is something i also caught on to like in my time in chile because everyone made fun of me really? because, <laughs> because i make so many noises during uh, conversation I always do that. Like, 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 and so I think the lack of that, um, again, at the same time, it makes me think that people aren't listening. Right. Uh, so, uh, uh, so uh. that's probably maybe it's that. So maybe they are listening, mm. but like eyes uh, uh, it uh, sounds uh, like uh. they're not yeah. listening. Even in like presentations, giving presentations, I think like it, with a Japanese audience, they might not like verbally say eyes because mm. you know it's a presentation mm. environment, but they will nod their heads yeah, like or, they're looking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. まあ、別にね、なんかそれはあんまないよね。ない。だからたまに怖くなる。そうそうそう。全然面白くないのかなってなる。そうそうそう。なんか、で、なんか終わったと思ったらすごいなんか話話してくれて、あ、聞いてた
come again? <laughs> <laughs> I would recommend that I'm going to do this, but I'm going to do this. I think it's hard to separate those like, notions of like, what is supposed to be and what mm, is the universe. Mm, mm. When you tell non Japanese people that you're from Japan, but you're actually, but you never went to Japanese school, what are the reactions?、Um, well, I've never told people that like, I've specifically not gone to Japanese school, but、mm-hmm. when I tell people that I'm from Japan, a lot of the reactions I would get is like, oh, like, you don't fit. Uh. The Japanese stereotype,、mm. and that I find offensive as well, <laughs> honestly. That is a bit offensive. Yeah, because there、mm. is like that very expectation of what, specifically in terms of women, like what a Japanese woman is supposed to be like,、yeah. demure, polite, just、yeah. submissive, honestly. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, no, and then, like, those three adjectives are what people expect.、Mm-hmm. And once like one person doesn't fit that ideal, they're like, oh. <laughs> あれ,<笑>あれ,<笑>あれメディアで見てる日本人と全然違うじゃん。Okay, then we've been talking quite a bit, and、mm-hmm. I'll end the episode here because we have a lot more yes, to yes. talk about. So, thanks for watching, and please give us a thumbs up, and、Hi. please subscribe to my channel. And my channel, Tomotube. <laughs> do you want to talk about do you want to talk、yes. a little bit about it? Yeah, so I started Tomotube like two years ago when I moved to Hong Kong. It's largely just like me living life and it's all vlogs. So if you're interested in a calm, chaotic, since I want to get a calm, chaotic vlog, please follow along. Well, it's pretty interesting stuff.、Hi. So please go subscribe to her channel、okay, as well as my channel and please leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>